Okay, so today we have a Note 2. This is a Sprint version, and we want to flash this, but as you know, the 16-digit passcode on the updated versions to 4.1.2 doesn't work. So we're going to downgrade this phone. You can see that this one, our customer tried to downgrade it himself, and he used the wrong file. So no matter. Um, first thing we want to do is put the phone in a download mode. So you can just simply pull the battery out, wait just a moment, put the battery back in the phone, and then you'll want to hold volume down, home, and power. And you'll get this screen. Once you get to this screen, you just hit volume up, and now we're in downloading mode. So now we can plug the phone in, and we'll go over to the computer. So over at the computer, you will, you, you'll go to the Sprint Note 2 file that's attached to this video and download it. And you'll open that up and just pull this folder out on your desktop. That essentially just unzips the folder. Okay, so now that's completed. And we can go into that folder. And you'll see there's a few files here. Well, we want to go to Odin, we want to open that up, and then we want to run the application folder. And that will run Odin, which is the program that interfaces with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So we'll see we have a COM port, we actually have a couple. You may typically only have one COM port. And it doesn't matter what COM number it is, just so long as you have it. You'll see reset time and auto reboot are checked, leave those alone and go to the PDA button and click on it. Now you'll see that uh, we have some options here. This actually opens us up into the root Sprint Note 2 folder that we just unpacked on our desktop, but if it doesn't for some reason, you can navigate to it. You can click on Desktop, you can click on uh, Sprint Note 2, and then you can click on this file right here. That's the one we want to use. It takes just a minute to load that into Odin. Okay, so now it's loaded in. You see it here in the PDA section. And now we just go ahead and click on Start. And we're going to let this run. Now this will take about seven minutes. So I'm going to let this run and I'll, we'll pick this up when it's done. Okay, so now that's done, the phone's going to reboot. And we'll just watch it a second here. And what will typically happen on reboot is that it will get stuck on this screen. Sometimes it'll boot all the way up, but that's fairly rare. Usually it'll get stuck on the Samsung screen, so we're going to wait just a minute and see if it does in fact get stuck here. And so we can say it's safe to say that we're stuck here on the Samsung logo. So now what we want to do is we want to go back to the phone and we want to pull the battery out of it. And then we'll put that battery right back in. And now we want so to boot into recovery we're going to hold volume up this time, the home button, and the power button. And the trick here is that as soon as we see that first logo pop up we're going to release the power button but we're going to continue to hold volume up and the home button and now you'll see that we've booted in to the Android recovery so we have some some options here on the recovery and the option that we want is wipe data factory reset and you can just use the volume key to scroll to it and then once you're there click the power button then a little screen will come up asking you to confirm scroll down to yes and hit power again 
and now this will do a factory reset on your phone. It just takes a moment. Once it's done, you'll be back in that main menu and reboot system now will be highlighted. Just go ahead and hit power and now the phone is going to reboot. So we'll wait for that. And so now we've booted up and we can just skip and next through all of the setup options. Cancel hands-free activation. And now we're on the home screen. We can go into diag mode here. And let's plug this in. And we can close Odin here. And there's our port. And if we go to Samsung default, now you'll see that the password is correct, device is unlocked, and it's ready to flash. So there you go. That's how you downgrade the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, the Sprint version of it, so that you can flash it. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and email us. You can email us at flashphones.net at gmail.com, or you can go to our website, which is uh, www dot flash phones dot net you can click on the contact us page and send us a message right from there or you can give us a call our number is listed on our contact page thank you very much and as always keep flashing